if God says he wants this to be done we can trust him to do it so we've been praying for a week or two and this day I was crying I was crying Lord why haven't you answered we need this money Lord please please he said to Evan oh Evan I've put four hundred dollars in your account oh thank you thank you Lord right at the last minute God could do impossibilities we could trust him I think the hardest is for me the hardest has been to have faith to believe the seed that you've sown into people's lives that they will bring forth fruit. Mm. I think my biggest di disappointments in looking back in my ministry, in particularly in Africa, is to, I still have a handful of people, not a handful, a few people, whom I prayed for, who came to the Lord, and then they went totally back. Mm. Faith to believe that, <laughs> that He can do it. Yes. You know, the seed that's been sown, mm. I really believe. I trust that one day I'll see them in heaven again. Yes, yes. Be good. Faith, we believe God for all of our need. We believe God for His help in every situation. We believe God for our salvation. Which one is uh, most challenging uh, to you? Most challenging? Mm -hmm. uh, they're all challenging. Uh, I don't think we can let any of them drop. Uh, I think we've got to live with faith. Faith has been my life. I think faith would have to be the most important one because without that you, you can't please God and you can't really achieve anything. You've got to just expect God to do something even though you don't know how he's possibly going to do it. And if we just just quietly say, Lord, you put me here, that's your business, you, you do it because I can't, <laughs> no way. Whatever you face, God is in it. He's always with you, he's there. If you just trust, it all fits together. You can't see how it's going to fit together, but if you just know God's organized this everything, then it'll fit, and it does. <laughs> he said to us, we've been waiting for you to come because Ben Mai was a Christian and we don't know how to bury Christians. Mm. So they handed the whole shebang over to us and Fortunately, a group of Christians from nearby villages had come and they witnessed and preached for about two, three hours while they dug the grave. And then we buried Benma. And someone raised the voice and said, he can't do that. And then another voice said, let it be. Being prepared to trust him and move on step by step. He's always working in us. And I think in today's world in particular, this is something that needs to be to the fore of our teaching and of our, it should be the whole center of our lives and others should feel it. I can't have faith on my own unless you fill me with so much love for you that my heart wants to do these things because I love you and because I want to please you. And I thought, wow, uh, even before we'd finished the prayer meeting, somebody had already sent that letter and it was in the post. And it came the day after the prayer meeting. So Stuart Dinnan's praying through made a lot of sense to me after that. So faith is special. So for me, looking to God to um, raise up missionaries to evangelize every people group. I, he's going to do it, though some days I wonder how and how every people group is going to be saved, but part of God's plan is to use men and women like you and me and to do that. And I believe that uh, it will happen. So that's, uh, in some ways, it's, I just know it's going to happen, so that's part of my faith journey. Do we have a list of challenges? Yes, we do. Are some of those very difficult? Yes, but it's the way God's leading us. This is our journey. We're, we're not. The problems are not the issue. God has a solution. Because God's people, bringing people from every tongue, tribe, and nation to worship the Lamb, we can be an expression of the kingdom on earth in a very special way. It's worth the cost. It's worth the challenge. I think I'm totally committed to it, as you can probably tell.